while my video is uploading to YouTube, I will uh, sort of, you might say, proofread or proof view the final uh, production that's uploading. And uh, if I see anything that is, you know, terribly drastically wrong, I can always cancel the upload, fix the problem, and start it all over again. Which would probably mean that the video might be an hour or two late, you know, for viewing, but at least it wouldn't be terribly drastically wrong. And yesterday I was noticing that this little gun barrel here, I think I may have, remember what I was talking about when the, this got bent? Uh, and I think there used to be something on the end there, but I'm not sure. I was just checking it closely now and I'm not really seeing any place that looks like anything broke off. It's, it's, an, it's a different gun altogether to the one on the other side. So, uh, you know, I can't really compare. Oh, and I did repaint the top of this just now. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get on here and uh, we got some major parts to put on. Well, I was about to say, one of the little boats broke off. And I was looking to see, well, where did it come off of? And then I remembered, oh yeah, we had an extra one, remember? It was the one that we had to uh, use the propeller off of because we lost one. Uh, notice how I say we whenever anything goes wrong. Anyway. Now this door here. Did it come off or did we just not put it on? Well, I don't see any glue on it anywhere, so I don't think it came off of anything. I thought I had a real good memory, but I can't remember. Now, I wasn't particularly worried about it, but I would have felt kind of bad if I had broken the barrel off. But I got kind of curious about that gun. So if we go way back to step number 7 on page 8, we can see that that gun is supposed to look like that. Yeah, we didn't break anything. Now, I realize that I keep talking about it a lot, but there are so many places now that I have to be careful. Uh, like, there's more little ladders here, or railings here, that I could easily just, you know, even if I was to try to brush them off uh, with, a, with a paintbrush, it would, uh, I could bend them over accidentally. And some of these little places here that, you know, like for the bottom, for the where the floats for the aircraft go in. It'd be quite easy to bump those and, uh, you know, break them off. So anyway, let's uh, see what we can do. And once again, this is the first time that I'm doing this. Uh-oh, look, I got damage here. Well, when do I fix that? I wonder how I did that. Well, let's just see how it's going to fit. I think the easiest time to fix it is when it's off there because I can sort of lay it on its side. Yeah, I must have banged it against something. There was nothing in that cardboard box that would do that, so... I... Anyway, let's see what's going to happen here. That was too bad. Be careful, Ron. Maybe if I was to... Hold it like this. Yeah, that works better. Okay, now it's supposed to go like that. I think that's down. Looks like everything's seated. Okay, so that's going to go like that. Well, let's... Uh, uh, oh, and that uh, 
there's a bit of a catwalk there that goes from this part to this part and it it seems to match up pretty good anyway uh, let's fix that okay I'm not seeing anything on this side here that we can damage uh, by laying it over on its side so Okay, I'm just going to rearrange things a little bit here to make it easier to paint. I realize that it says light gray there, but this is the darker of the two grays that we've been using lately. I don't have any more left of this exact shade. I do think that this is slightly lighter than what we're using now, but the main thing is we're going to get, you know, these uh, uh, shiny photo edge pieces that are showing covered. And the flat paint, even though it might be slightly lighter, it's not going to be a you know a glaring mistake. Yeah, I wonder how I did that. Okay, just getting rid of some excess dust here. As I mentioned before, I'm liking this little paintbrush. I just want to do the area where the bare photo etches. I think I got most of it. All right, let's try this again very, very carefully. Now where does it look like the part is fitting down tightly on the deck? Oh. Now I've broken this off of right here. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Now mind you, that's not a serious problem. I do believe though that this piece is supposed to go underneath well, you can't see it. Maybe I'll swing the camera around. Okay, I think I can see how that's supposed to go there. But if I put it in so it locks in place right there, I'll zoom in a bit on that. Okay, so if I have it so that it goes like where I think it's supposed to go, which is like that, then it does not fit properly uh, on the deck. Now in order to get it to fit properly on the deck, I got to sort of have it in the wrong place. And that's why the mast pulled away from the, uh, you know, its support further up. I have to think about this for a little bit. Okay, now you should be able to see what I'm talking about. You notice that the part is not fitting up tight against the uh, this part right here. Um, I'm, you know, if I could move this part here further forward about a eighth of an inch, well, then it would match up at the top there. I'm thinking that we're probably going to have to glue it the way you're seeing it right now. Um, yeah, that's too bad. Now this may be a mistake. Right now the funnel section is positioned about as good as I can get it on the deck. And I'm thinking why not shorten that catwalk. So I'm just going to score the paint I should be able to see that. Now I'll take this away. Okay, I can see that line. Now if I 
nip it off right there. Yeah, I don't think anybody's even going to notice. Now I'm thinking that I should really re-glue this where it's come loose. The reason being is that when I'm trying to nip it off right here, if I put any undue stress on this part, it's going to snap off where it hooks onto this part. Okay, I realize this is not the best angle for you. But don't feel bad, it's not the best angle for me either. Now. Okay. Now can we get everything to fit at the same time? And I'd say yes, about as good as, po as is possible. Now when I have it fitting perfect right here and here at the same time, we do have a bit of a gap up here. Now I'm thinking that possibly, look at that little hair on the end of that paintbrush, well that doesn't matter. Anyway, I was thinking that maybe I could take and paint the end of this part right here with a flat, dark color, like maybe even the black. And then the, the uh, joint, the mistake wouldn't uh, show up so bad. Um, at least that's my thinking right now. Maybe now is the time to do that, because you know, I'm going to have to take this piece off anyway. Now, hopefully this is the last time I have to take this off. This is that uh, NATO black. Yeah, I think once that uh, dries flat. Now the aircraft hangers are going to go one on each side of the funnel. Like this. There'll be one on the other side as well. And uh, that means that a person is not going to see right here. So I am thinking that if I was to once again put the CA glue along the edge fairly heavy and then when I put this in place it should run down and uh, yeah the same as uh, the other section did and seemed to work out okay. I haven't tested it yet to see how strong it is but I'm I can quite well imagine that if I could find a place that I could grab hold of these, I could probably pick up the whole ship with it, but I'm not going to try it. Okay, we'll let the CA do its magic. I think we can probably see any of that in place too.
I don't think it's in on the other side. Oops. I'm gonna have to repaint. Okay, I finally got it perfectly in place before the CA set up, but there is CA glue on the deck right there. Now, what will be the best way to fasten these in place? Okay, it appears that the wall goes up against this ridge right here and the roof comes down on this one right here. So if we were to put some CA along there and some CA along there, I think that would do the trick. Now this is CA medium. I don't have too much working time here. does have a bit of a wicking problem, as you can see. Now this is the one that is going to have the aircraft sticking out a little bit. get too aggressive here and break something. I do want it to sort of adhere in place there and it's basically in place. It could have gone about an sixteenth of an inch further back or rather forward I guess it would be um, but the um, this boat in the back here I mounted it too far that way so it's up against this wall and it shouldn't be I did try a minute ago to see if it could easily be removed, but I was afraid I was going to, you know, do too much damage. So we're just going to leave it the way it is. I think it's going to be all right. I have turned the ship around. And this is actually the first time I'm trying this one. Now this one fits back a little better than the other one did. But it won't be noticeable. I mean, it won't be noticeable that the other one isn't exactly right. Unless somebody uh, remembers that I mentioned it and they look for it. But I think I'll do this one the same way as I did the other side. What I am noticing that is more difficult now is that there's really nothing that I can use as a steady rest when I'm doing something like this. You know, I think that top one is setting up on me. I thought I saw fumes coming off it, but maybe it's my imagination. Okay. Oop. I'll use my fingers here. It's a little more positive. Now, don't press down too hard here, Ron. Watch what you press on, or you'll be pasting your photo etch back on. Oh, not yet. Now I did get a little bit of CA glue right there, so when I touch up the other side I'll have to do this one. But you know, there's going to be a gun turret mounted right there. I don't know how big it's going to be, but it's going to hide any flaws. Now this completes step 55, at least as far as I can see. It was basically the four pieces, the funnel section, the two hangers, and uh, this piece that went in the front here. Okay, 56 deals with photo etch. I'm uh, not seeing any plastic parts at all that we put on. 
Okay, I stand corrected here. There is some uh, plastic parts and they're all on the L sprue and it appears that the photo etch is all on the C sheet. So we got our C sheet. We got our L's. There's three of them. And uh, it's not that late in the afternoon. I almost could keep going here. But uh, I don't want to you know, run myself too short here. So uh, I'm going to cut this video off today. And I think we did pretty good. The ship uh, looks majorly different from the way it did a couple of days ago. In fact, a couple of days ago, I think it was on the other side of the model table. Anyway, thanks for watching. All being well, we'll see you tomorrow, and we'll put on some more parts. <laughs>